Assalamu alaikum students welcome to Sivanji trainer my name is Pasir today we are starting in the repairing testing lecture of AutoCAD Civil 3D so in this lecture we will learn how can we create assemblies in Civil 3D so our sub topic is create assemblies for roads and create assemblies for open channel in this lecture we will create assemblies two type of roads and one type of open channel assemblies you can also see here print so see here one type of road road assembly one and here one road assembly two. So basically these roads are already we worked in uh, our project. So this is our one side project and this is our second side project. Assembly basically is typical section of road. Okay. So the material that will be used in uh, this assemblies we also worked on site and after that we will create its quantity everything will be according to our assembly. So this lecture is very important because we are going to the roads next steps. Okay, because we are going to the quantity side first step by step. So please concentrate on this lecture. This is very important lecture. So if you are new, so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more latest update. So let's start. So you can see our computer screen. So first of all, before start this work, I want to read all these summary carefully so for that you can now the general concept of assembly okay so first of all we need to read this one because this is our project assembly this is not normal default assembly keep in mind this is our project practical work okay so for that i just want to take on this work and read carefully this one so first of all this center portion this center portion basically is called crown portion this portion is called crown okay so this one is called lane okay this lane is a bit 3.65 which we normally mention in our roads and uh, in uh, uh, offset okay this also will be our lane number two this will be our shoulder after that you can also see here this is our also shoulder but in rounding portion okay and this will will be our cutting and filling if our area will be in fill so four by one slope in cutting also will be four by one okay. we can also change its one this is the side second side of this one Second will be, you can see this another project like uh, Damad pro like uh, Jazan project, okay? It is under still area assembly. So there is need two lines, some places, to one line, some places, two lines, okay? This is New Jersey barrier. And this one, 3.65, after that you can see here, side curb, okay? Urban curb gutter, okay? After you can see here, this is our sidewalk, this is curb. And same like this one will be our cutting and filling. Filling in red and cutting in this green. Okay. See this one. This one will be our final assembly about uh, open channel. You can see open channel. So we need to create this one. This is some specific material. We use here concrete material like lining material. If you want to use other material, you can also find this one. Which we'll discuss all this assembly in this lecture. So first of all, I want to make this type of assembly. So for that we need to go here, you can see home and profile, next profile, assembly, okay, click on assembly, assembly, create assembly. So new option came here, road 1. So we need to make here different name like road 100, okay, 101, unique name. Because we already have, there is some specific road assembly, so I want to make new name. So for that 101 assembly type other there are different type of assembly so i want to keep here default okay other assembly style basic okay all codes we need all code different type of code you can see here all codes and okay so i just want to click here where i want to create assembly click here we can see here one new a center line draw here this is the center line you can see here the center line of assembly origin point where the assembly start okay so you can see here click tool palettes or control three i just want to control three or you click here tool palette same option will be open these all option is called sub assemblies okay you can see here metric lane sub assemblies these all different type of assemblies and its components so basically our assembly the combination of all these tools is called assemblies okay so when we make any type of assembly so we select from here some specific tools after that we need to take its uh, some specific parts and join here then this is called assembly okay so the first work will be lanes okay 
लेंस बीन थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव नॉर्मल आप सेट ओके लेंस सुपर एलिवेशन ए ओ आर क्लिक हाँ आफ्टर डेट क्लिक हाँ सर्कल ओके सी दिस वन दिस वेरी बेस एंड दिस इज द मेटीरियल ऑफ आवर रोड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू दिखे राइट क्लिक सब समरी प्रॉपर्टी देन यू कैन सी हेयर दिस अवर फर्स्ट लेन यू कैन ऑल्सो एडिट हेयर बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू लाइक दैट आर यू कैन ऑल्सो ले वन ओके राइट साइड यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस वन राइट साइड राइट साइड After that parameter, we need to change its parameter like its width and its some material. Okay, so our first some width will be 3.6. I want to keep here 3.65. Default slope. I want to make here 1.5, which is normal slope 1.5. Then P1, P2 base sub. This is the material. You can you can see here our material is used. Our first material will be. Asphalt, okay, 0.5. This is centi meter, 0.5, and this normal cut centi, okay. Pavement asphalt. After that, base. This called subgrade aggregate base called bitumen base called bitumen bearing coat, okay. In civil 3D, this is called pave two, okay. So we need to make this material with 0.20. After that, base depth, okay. Base depth will be 30. This is two layers are. 15-15 centi, okay. This is double layer. This is also double layer of 10-10 centi. We need to make this one like this, okay. This 30 and this also will be 30 subgrade. This two layers are subgrade 15-15. This also will be 15. After this 10, and after this will be 5, okay. There one another layers like uh, some specific like liquid will be used here. So we can see here this our material. Now next next will be use super elevation. Okay, this is the very important tools. So you must use this one. Right lane outside. When we apply tools, apply super elevation or alignment, this automatically apply here. Okay, right lane outside. Use super elevation here. Okay. Slope direction away from crown. Crown will be the this portion. So I want to make like that. So for that, for the entry pivot, okay. Then inside point code inside point mean this point, this point, this outside this inside this is called crown okay. Outside point edge of pavement pavement basically is the last part of road okay. So we don't need to make here pavement we need to make here lane. I also want to create another lane for that. This edge will be must in the lane okay. So for that I make this point edge of lane. After that. Apply then okay. So we can see here our first layer is complete. This full material five centi. After that ten ten centi two layers, fifteen fifteen centi two layers, and this one be fifteen fifteen centi okay. Subgrade aggregate base coat, bitumen base coat, bitumen bearing coat. After we make same another lens. So for that we just need to copy here, copy to, and click on this point. So you can see this is the second point. So we also need to change a little bit about its property. Okay. So first of all, we need to make here lane number two. Right side. Okay. Three point six five. Okay. One point five centi. Okay. Five centi. Twenty. Thirty. Okay. Right lane outside also okay. Away from crown. Okay. Here we need to inside point now code not crown. Now our Side point will be edge lane. Okay, you can see here when we make this summary, this point will be our crown. But now this point is not crown. This is our lane, edge of lane, edge of lane. Now outside point also will be edge of lane because because I also want to make here one shoulder. Okay, so for that I click here edge of lane. This is a very important tools because uh, sometimes people don't use this one, but this is a very important tools. Because sometimes when we make corridor and assemblies, then when we see our section, there is some problem. Because of that, we don't make its joint with properly. Okay. So for that, inside point code, edge of lane, outside point edge of lane. Okay. Apply then. Okay. This our second will be complete. 
is complete okay so now i just want to copy another copy to this point okay so last this will be our shoulder so first of all i want to change this property so for that just click on shoulder set shoulder right side okay parameter this must be 2.5 okay 1.5 all material will be same right lane outside okay edge of lane inner side edge of inner point code edge of lane that's correct okay but outside point must be changed because we want to finish road here now we want to make its edge so for that edge of pavement edge of travel way okay okay this is our edge after that you can see inner side code lane outside code will be our curb stone so for that i now want to finish the road here as a pavement apply okay so you can see here our this will be the last one lane one lane two and shoulder now next point will be i want to make here one rounding shoulder okay so for that shoulder click here and shoulder extension you can see this one i want to make same like that okay so for that you can see there is material only subgrade so we need to use this one shoulder extension after that just need to click here you can see here this is slopes and uh, i want to remove this material and also need to adjust its level so for that click here right click tap on the property this will be our rounding so for that i just write here rounding right side right side okay parameter right 2.5 i want to make here 50 cm use super elevation slope no here away from crown okay i just want to use super elevation like personal i need this one after the daylight slope 4 by 1 okay if you want to change here you can also use this one this slope will be so i want to make 1 by 4 okay daylight width 1.8 after that you can also change from here super elevation subgrade don't need i just want to make minus 1.5 you can see here material we don't use here material this side okay this is our normal subgrade for so for that i just want to make is 0 0 0 and this will be 0.85 all these one we remove here and we need to correct here okay apply then okay so you can see here our required result is okay so now i want to make here daylight daylight means it's cutting and filling so for that i just want to click here cut and fill see this one 6 by 6 mean i just want to give example so for that you can easily understand what i want to try to teach you 50 cm and this one also will be 50 okay so you see if our road will be in filling area so if we use 4 by 1 then it will be like that if we use 1 by 6 then it material will be like that okay if we apply here 1 by 2 2 by 1 you can see this come like here if here the height of our filling here normally height of our filling can see here 5 meter if our height of filling will be here 1.5 meter then the ratio of 1 by 4 will be used here if our height will be 3 meter the ratio of 1 by 3 will be used here when we apply properly but when we use if the height of our will be increased from 3 meter then it will be used here 2 by 1 okay same other side cutting portion if our cutting will be 1 meter 1 by 4 if our cutting will be more than then 1 by 3 and if our cutting more than 3 meter then 2 by 1 slope will be used here okay so for that i just want to make here 6 by 1 see this one i want to change here and adjust the criteria so that you can also understand some summary property 
just click here right side right side okay parameter so you can see here cutting we don't need to adjust anything from here you can just come here this portion okay see this one flat cut max first of all we need to touch this cut the creative will be used here 6 by 1 and 1.5 here means if our cut will be 1.5 meter then 6 by 1 slope will be used i just want to change here i just i want if 1.5 then 4 will be used 4 by 1 if max medium cut max height its height will be 3 meter then here he say 4 by 1 i want to make 3 by 1 okay and if our height will be more than then 2 by 1 okay mean if our height will be 5 or 10 meter then the slope will be used 2 by 1 okay cutting same like we need to check here in filling if our filling will be 1.5 then need to 1 by 4 if, if our height will be filling 3 meter then need to 3 by 1 ratio and if our height will be more than that so 2 by 1 will be slope here okay you can also see guard width 0 0.60 guard slope you can also check here if you want to need this one you can also add this one here so you don't want to make here any changing apply then okay so you can see here our first one is ready one side so i just want to copy this one from here and you can see here mirror just click on mirror after that apply here we can see this all one created in this side so first of all we need to change its property like this is the right side this is now left side it will be summary property this one right side now this will be left side parameter left side all this one okay we just need to change its super elevation here right side when now we need to make left layer outside after that all this one will be okay apply then okay second will be same sub summary property left plane this one okay parameter left everything is okay just need to change super elevation use super elevation here left side because we are now creating left side assembly away from crown okay everything is okay as inner side outer side okay apply then okay so last will be our shoulder so for that sub summary property shoulder okay left side parameter all thing will be 2.5 okay everything is okay right lane outside we need to select here left lane outside after that adjust inner side now see this one this portion is called inner side far left okay because we follow these this center line okay so for that this will be our inner point edge of pavement this is our edge so for that this is okay if you want to check anything from here you can also check take help from this portion there is all type of details mentioned if you want to check and read anything you can also use this portion help okay if you want to check any detail about the layers you can also check from here so you just click here okay apply then okay so you can see here our first summary is ready so i also want to this one will be same no problem this also will be cutting and filling if our criteria will be used here one point our filling will be 1.5 then it will be used for if our filling will be more than like three meter then it will be like that if our filling will be more then it will be like that okay you can see here if more than it will be like that according to this level okay it will be like that okay so this is the first assembly so now you want to create second one so this will be our second road and this is also another protect road so for that i will use this one so you can see a new jersey lane 2 now see side portion okay so i want to start i want to start this one so for that just click assembly create assembly and now road number 102 okay all things is same okay just click here now first of all i want to make 
one lane so for that just go on lane if you don't have this one you just click here you can also find this one r control 3 need to go on lane lane super elevation click again here after that click on here okay there is some specific default already available here but i want to make new so for that you can also do its practice okay so you can see here so first what will be our parameter setting sub summary property after that need to you can see here lane lane you can also write or not no problem okay if you don't want to write here no problem just i want to give you for your facility okay parameter right side will be 3.65 here slope I want to keep here slope 2% because on our project it will be like that 2% in industrial area wave 1 asphalt will be 0.5 cm this will be 0.8 this will be over 20 cm and this will be 30 30 20 8 in 5 63 over all okay next will be our super elevation use super elevation yes use here right lane outside okay away from crown crown okay inside see this one inside point crown outside point will be edge of pavement i don't want to use this one i want to make here lane another so for that edge of lane apply then okay next will be our same copy to click here okay so just click here on the sub summary property 3.5 for everything is okay right okay just need to change here now this is not ground this will be over edge of lane inner side and outer side will be our edge of pavement okay okay apply then okay now i want to make here sidewalk so for that first of all we need to make here basic and uh, see this one curve now see this urban curve gutter general okay so i want to use here this one click here this is our curve side curve okay so first of all you want to make this one same like this height so for that click here right click sub summary property and use this one here you can check all this one right side two percent okay 45 and depth sub grade we want to keep here this one 63 apply then okay so you see this one this is okay now i want to make here one length like a sidewalk so for that click on basic and see here one sidewalk sidewalk basic sidewalk okay click here you just need to click here so i want to make here some space for plantation so for that i click here right click assembly property you can see here this is buffer width i want to make here a width one meter and here no need and uh, this one width will be 1.5 right side okay buffer width depth will be 10 cm okay apply then okay you can see here now i want to make here one curve so for that you can see a basic curve click here and click on this point so this one is our curve so now i want to make here daylight mean cutting and filling now i want to use this one click here and just click on this cutting filling okay so this one is okay three by one okay this correct so i just want to copy all this one here and now make here first of all click here step by step this one this one this one this one in a mirror okay mirror here okay look here you can see our second family is ready so we just not want to change its material and its property so just click here and uh, first of all change its property like uh, sub summary property so select here everything is okay 3.65 just need to change its super elevation here okay left lane outside okay after that crown okay edge okay apply then okay for next will be now this portion is not crown keep in mind this portion this portion is called crown and this portion is edge of lane 
now this portion will be edge of lane and this portion will be edge of travel way okay so click here right click sub assembly property parameter and just first of all change its left side lane outside okay next will be edge of lane okay edge of travel way that's okay apply then okay so this is now correct this will be our edge of travel way like a curve you can see here this will be left okay so okay everything is okay so you can see this is our second roads assemblies are ready so just need to make a new jersey barrier so just click here basic and basic barrier okay so now click here you see this one now this second summary is also ready okay this one first one second one now is only new open channel summary so for that we just need to click on uh, this portion curve generic click here trench pipe okay click on trench pipe you can see here channel different type of channel you can see here so here we just need to use this one channel but before making any channel see this one we cannot paste this one here first we need to make some list okay for that click here and uh, new open channel just give name new open channel okay after basic all codes okay and just need to click here okay now next will be our channel click here channel different type of channel you can see here we need to select here center so we can see the design of our channel so we just need to change its style like uh, i just want to keep here so that you can also understand what i am telling to you click here right click sub summary property then you can see this dialog box open now see this one depth 2 meter this depth from here to here okay 2 meter we just need to change here 2.5 apply see this one after that bottom width will be 2 meter i just keep here 2 meter 2.5 meter 2.5 apply see this one now i want to change its this slope okay side slope one by one i want to make it uh, 0.5 by one see this one 0.5 by one okay apply see this one like that Next will be lining depth. This material basically depth here 10 centi. I just want to make it 20 centi. Apply. You can see here our depth is already okay. Now left marker, right marker. After that, left extension height. Basically this height is this one. This one. Now first of all, I need to make left side. So for that, see this one. If you want to change this one, you can also apply here 0.75. Apply. See this one. Now left back side width. Okay, this width will be 1.5. That's enough. Left back side slope 1 by 4. Now I want to make it 100 by 4. I just want to make 1% slope. Okay, 1% slope. Apply. So you can see here only 1% slope here. Now next portion will be right extension height. See this one. I also want to match this one so for that 0.75 after that this side will be width will be okay right back slope width okay right back slope 4 by 1 I want to make it same 100 by 1 like 1% slope so see this one so our lining material is ready here so now I just want to change it's a side slope so for that there are different type of side slope daylight see this one here so i just want to click here and uh, use this one and if you want to change anything here so just click here sub summary property and just click here right okay four bit 1.2 i just want to give it 0.5 basin slope 1 by 4 
I want to make it three. Base and width will be one meter enough. You can also change according to your requirement. Okay, I just want one meter. Cut slope, fill slope. See this one. I want to make it cut slope two meet two by one, and fill will be three by one. Okay. Same criteria will be used according to. So here I think this is okay. Apply. Then okay. So you can see here. This one will be cutting the over. Cut will be two by one, and fill will be three by one. So just click here. After that, mirror, and just click on this side. So our third summary is all also ready. So you can see the summary. We create all these summary step by step. So you can also now the method of calculation of cutting and filling. This one will be three meters. So for that, it will be like that. So I hope you enjoy this lecture. And if you have any question, you can also tell me in comments. So this is the final view of our assembly. You can also change its setting according to your requirement. Here I just make different, and here I just want to change this one. Okay. So this is our your requirement. Basically, I use these. to basically a project and this is general okay you can also change according to your requirement okay i hope this lecture will be very helpful for you so if you have any question related to this topic so please comment with comment section inshallah i will try my best to give you some suitable answer thanks for watching see you next video allah hafiz